Funeral services were held today for Monsignor Georg Ratzinger, the brother of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. The service was in Regensburg, Germany. The Pope Emeritus followed the Mass via the Internet. Monsignor Ratzinger was a well-known choir director in his native country. He died last week at the age of 96. Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI traveled to Germany last month to be with his brother. Joining us now from Munich is Anjan Christoph Wimmer, editor-in-chief of Catholic news agency Deutsch, and he has been following this story for us. Christoph, welcome back. Great to see you. Thank you, Tracy. It's great to be here despite the sad event that we're covering today. Well, Christoph, what can you tell us about the funeral today? Well, I think for most people watching this, it was beyond moving, be it in the Cathedral of Regensburg for the Requiem Mass or watching it at home. Benedict XVI was one of those people. He watched his own brother's funeral via live stream on Wednesday in the Vatican whilst his secretary, Archbishop Georg Genswein, read the Pope Emeritus' message of remembrance at the Mass in Germany. Christoph, what has been the response in Germany to Monsignor Ratzinger, Ratzinger's life and his work? The response has been massive because, after all, not only is he a very famous brother of a pope, but he was one of the leading musicians, especially for church music, in his own right, who for 30 years looked after the preeminent cathedral choir in Germany, if not in Central Europe. And in that role, and being a priest at the same time, he was a defining figure for what were some of the most challenging times for the Catholic Church, in Germany in particular. In other words, not only was there criticism during the time that he served as cathedral choir master, but there was also a lot of applause for what he achieved after many years of hard work. And as Pope Emeritus Benedict has said himself today, after years of not uh, just joy, but in fact also considerable suffering. All of this was remembered today, and if you look at the condolences, the messages coming in, not just from Bavaria, Germany, but around the world, they certainly do pay tribute to this particular testimony, this witness that we see personified in Monsignor Georg Ratzinger. And we know that Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI followed the Mass online. Do you know anything about how he's doing and maybe what were some of the main points from his visit seeing his brother last month? Right. Well, as far as we know, he's recuperated fairly well from what was, after all, a stressful journey for him. You know, sitting in a wheelchair as he was, traveling back, uh, a tired man. But from what we hear, he's recuperated okay. And he certainly was able to at least follow the live stream. When he saw his brother last, which was only a few days ago, and this is something he paid tribute to in the message today, he was particularly grateful for having been given what he calls almost an intuition to go now. When uh, Georg Ratzinger died at the age of 96 on July the 1st, uh, it was clear that the Pope Emeritus would not be able to attend. It was all the more important then that only a few days before he returned to Rome on the 22nd of June, he had a, an opportunity to say goodbye. And as he said today, as Archbishop Genswein read in the cathedral, they both knew it was a farewell in this world, but that they will be, will be reunited one day in the other world, the world to come. Christoph, before I let you go, is there anything else that you would like to tell us about Monsignor Ratzinger's legacy? Well, I think the most important legacy is something that you did not see today, but only two days before, when the, if you like, old boys of the cathedral paid tribute to the man they called their boss. Um, you saw, notwithstanding the safety distance because of the pandemic, but a number of incredibly talented singers in the gorgeous Cathedral of St. Peter in Regensburg, singing and thereby praying for the repose of a man who was the defining figure for him and who, for them, and was the defining figure of church music and what that can bring to the people. To evangelize, as Bishop Vorderholz has said, but also to just celebrate the Lord and celebrate the joy of being Catholic. Well, Christoph, thank you so much for your time today. We really do appreciate it. Anjan Christoph Wimmer, editor in chief of Catholic News Agency Deutsch. Thank you again. Thank you kindly.